Long time no see everyone, my name's Lux Crux, and it goes without saying that Sonic is such a cool character. His design is so recognizable and resonates with a lot of people, with the uh, spiky quills, his Michael Jackson shoes, his trademark smirk just oozing with attitude, and his cool blue color. Naturally, a character as iconic as Sonic needs to have a voice that's just as iconic to really sell the character. After all, Sonic's a teenager with attitude, and a voice is really the only way you can sell that because other than that, all we had to go by was box covers and idol animations. Which leads us to this video. Sonic has had voices for 24 years ever since 1998, and for America anyway, we've gone through three voice actors so far. Ryan Drummond voicing Sonic during the early 2000s, Jason Griffith voicing Sonic in the mid-2000s, and finally, Roger Craig Smith currently voicing Sonic ever since the early 2010s. These three have been the topic of discussion, or debate, in the Sonic community for years with everyone giving their opinions on who is the best voice actor for Sonic. So how about we dive in and find out? Now before we get started, I just want to state that everything in this video is my opinion and my opinion alone, so please take it with a grain of salt. If you have a favorite voice for Sonic and you don't happen to agree with me, that's totally fine. I'm not here to change your opinion, I'm just here to give my thoughts on the voice performances. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Oh yeah! This is happening! So we're starting off in 1999 where we have Ryan Drummond. A lot of longtime Sonic fans grew up with Ryan Drummond. I don't have this luxury considering that I was born in 2001, so by the time I was even able to play video games, Jason Griffith already took the torch. Ryan voiced Sonic from Sonic Adventure all the way to Sega Superstars on the PS2. Wow, what a way to go out. Many fans like him for a number of reasons. For one, he's the first voice of Sonic, and Ryan was able to give a performance that made him sound like he was a fun teenager that had some attitude to him. Perfect for that late 90s and early 2000s edge. On the other side of the spectrum, some people didn't like Ryan's performance. But in my honest opinion, I think that's because of Sonic Adventure 1's voice direction. Look, I can agree with not liking Ryan in Sonic Adventure 1 because first impressions are everything. Ryan did have some lines that were pretty bad, but people seem to stick to Sonic Adventure 1 when they talk about their opinions on Ryan. But when it comes to Sonic Adventure 2, Ryan perfectly portrays Sonic despite the fact that the English dubbing is off at times because the cutscenes exclusively match the Japanese script. So that's why some characters are cut off when they're talking in the game, but other than that, Ryan's performance is amazing. And I'm glad I was able to play the adventure games in Heroes because I would have missed out on Ryan's wonderful performance. It really grew on me throughout the years. Unfortunately, Ryan- Oh my god, voice crack! Unfortunately, Ryan was recast because according to him, when he tried to audition for Sonic X, he was turned down simply because four kids only cast people who lived in New York. Ryan offered to move to New York just to reprise his role, but it was too late as four kids were already casting new actors for the actors in Sonic X. And at the time, the contract for the Adventure Era voices expired, and Sega wanted to keep the voices from Sonic X consistent with the games. Which leads us to... Pretty snazzy performance there. So Jason Griffith is the middle child for the Sonic the Hedgehog voice actors. He started voicing Sonic for the Sonic X anime in 2003 like I said before. He originally auditioned for a role in Shaman King. On a side note, Shaman King is a really good anime, would totally recommend. Watch the 2021 version though, it's way better. Anyway, Jason didn't get the role but was called back by four kids to audition for Sonic X. And he tried to audition for the role of Chris Thorndike. <laughs> like seriously, could you imagine a world where Jason voiced Chris Thorndike? He did not get the part, but four kids thought that he should use the same voice he used to audition for Chris, but for Sonic. And with that, he got the starring role. Jason was played a clip of Ryan Drummond Sonic and was asked to somewhat replicate it. He started voicing Sonic from 2003 in the anime and made his game debut in 2005 with Sonic Rush in Shadow the Hedgehog, where he also voiced Shadow in... Come on! Let's hunt down the black creatures! What do you mean by that? Jason voiced Sonic all the way up to Sonic and the Black Knight, but funnily enough, his last official portrayal as Sonic came from a CW4 Kids Toons Eye preview presentation in September of 2010, just two months before Sonic Colors came out, which is very interesting. Now here's your host, Sonic the Hedgehog. Thanks, Diane. For the next half hour, I'm gonna show you scenes from Toons Eye's lineup of epic anime series. 
Anime's the name for Japanese style animated cartoons, and that's what Toon's Eyes all about. Now this is the Sonic that I personally grew up with because I became a Sonic fan in 2009 I want to say, and I mostly played Sonic 06 and the PS2 version of Sonic Unleashed. So I had this voice drilled into my head as a kid. <laughs> A lot of people were angry that Ryan was replaced, but I feel like a lot of them warmed up to Jason as they watched more of Sonic X and seeing how Jason progressed and really fit into his role throughout the years. For a lot of people, Jason Griffith became the voice for Sonic, considering the fact that he's voiced in some of Sonic's most infamous games. I personally love his performance, he captures the cocky attitude Sonic is known for. That most likely comes from emulating Ryan's performance somewhat, and he all around just has something passionate in his voice when he records his lines. Not to mention, he sports some of Sonic's most iconic lines in the series. Much like with Ryan, the contract with Jason expired and Sega wanted to hire more experienced voice actors apparently. Which leads us to our current voice for Sonic. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the Eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna wanna come here. So Roger Craig Smith is a man that really doesn't need any introduction. He has been voicing Sonic since 2010 with Sonic Freeriders and is still voicing Sonic to this day. He almost left back in 2021 for whatever reason and he announced that he's gonna stay the voice for Sonic for whatever reason, couldn't really find much information on that topic. But he's here to stay for at least a little while. Roger Craig Smith is the most, and I'm using massive air quotes here, controversial voice for Sonic. Since a lot of people really came to enjoy Jason Griffith's take on Sonic, Jason voiced Sonic for a whopping 7 years. A lot of people got attached to Jason and got really mad when Roger decided to voice Sonic. Now I'm gonna say this now, I feel like a lot of hate that Roger gets is honestly undeserved because it's a video game at the end of the day and the man is just trying to get a paycheck. We can blame a lot of hate that Roger gets on the writing that the Sonic games have had since Sonic Colors. Ken Pontac and Warren Gregg, I am so glad you're gone! Now I'll be upfront and say that Roger Craig Smith is my least favorite Sonic voice. I have nothing against him as a person, I'm sure he's a really nice guy, but his take on Sonic isn't really my cup of tea. I really didn't pay any mind to it when I played Generations back in 2011, because I thought Sonic was going through puberty at the time. But as I got older and formed an opinion on the whole thing, I just can't say I enjoy Roger's take on Sonic. Sonic is supposed to be a 15 year old boy and seeing how Roger voices a lot of middle aged men in video games and other media, just speaking in his regular voice, that's just how Sonic comes off. Middle-aged. Apparently Sega wanted to make Sonic sound older than he already was, and that's just a whole lot of stupidity to me, but I'm not going to talk about that now. A lot of people have come to appreciate Roger's take on Sonic. Roger is the longest standing voice for Sonic now, at 12 years. A lot of people grew up with Roger, so they consider him their definitive Sonic. I'm glad that he has his fans. It would kind of suck if everyone hated you just for doing your job. I may not like his portrayal of Sonic but Roger seems to be stepping up his game in Sonic Frontiers. His delivery sounds different, and with Ian Flynn writing for the games now, I'm at least very curious. We'll just have to see how Roger improves moving forward. So that covers all the Sonic voice actors. So who do I think is the best Sonic voice? Well, it was pretty tough to choose between Jason Griffith and Ryan Drummond, because both of them go for a similar thing that really tries to bring out the trademark attitude Sonic is marketed with. It was difficult, but I have to say that the definitive best Sonic voice is... Wait, 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 wait! Wait, what? Who, who said that? Hey, hey, hey! <gasps> I can't believe I forgot about... you! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Japanese voice actor for Sonic, Junichi Kanemaru, who's been voicing Sonic since Sonic Adventure came out in Japan, all the way back in 1998. Now, I kind of pulled a little sneaky on you guys, but I'm gonna say it now, Junichi is my favorite portrayal of Sonic, period. I'll say that Jason Griffith is the best English voice for Sonic, but when it comes to the best voice overall, Junichi takes the cake entirely. As mentioned before, he's been voicing Sonic for the past 24 years, so needless to say, the guy has experience. Not to mention that he was handpicked by Sega themselves to voice Sonic, and they definitely made the right choice. Junichi has a magic to his portrayal of Sonic. Not only does he put more soul into his voice acting out of any voice actor I've mentioned, he has an energetic and youthful delivery to his lines, and despite the fact that this man is 59 years old, he is still able to make Sonic sound like an actual teenager. 
Fun fact, Junichi was also an English teacher in Japan, so Sonic speaks English in some of the lines in the Japanese dub. And considering that Sonic has always been marketed for a Western audience, it just makes it all the more better. I strictly play Sonic games in Japanese when I can. I hate to sound like a weeb, but it's honestly the definitive way to play Sonic. And the main reason I enjoy Junichi out of any voice actor is consistency. We've gone through three voice actors over here in the West, but Junichi is still going strong to this day, and it's hard to imagine Sonic without him. Anyway, that's the video. Who's your favorite Sonic voice actor? Let me know in the comment section below. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm trying to upload a lot more consistently and actually start growing out my channel, so, you know, I appreciate the viewership. And while you're here, why not like and subscribe? It's free and it helps me out a lot. And with that... Hey, I'll play with you some other time!